Hello everyone, John is here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix when you cannot connect to the DNS server or you cannot access the PlayStation 4 network server as well. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications as this helps my channel grow a lot. What we're gonna do to start is to do a regular internet connection test and try to identify if the problem is coming from the internet connection where it shows a DNS error or the PlayStation Network sign in which also will show a DNS error in most of the cases. But in both cases what you need to do first of all is to check your router. If you have any red lights or lights that should be on and that are off it means there's a problem. Make sure that all your cables are correctly connected and plugged to the router and when you do so make sure to restart your router and if any problem persists call your internet service provider to make sure that the problem is not coming from them once you make sure that your router is functioning correctly i'm going to show you for the sake of this video an ethernet cable connection also known as lan cable because it helps you get a faster and stable internet connection when you're gaming on your ps4 so go ahead and insert the ethernet cable into your playstation and set up internet connection right after Right here, what we're going to do is to go to settings, go to network settings, and then set up internet connection. We're going to change the DNS, and because it is the one that is causing us errors. So you can choose Wi-Fi or LAN cable, but I'm going with LAN cable. Setup will be custom, and IP address will be automatic for the sake of not making this video too long. When you go with automatic DHCP, do not specify, and DNS settings has to be manual. From here, there's a list of a lot of numbers that you can try, and the most simple and effective one usually for European countries is Google's public DNS which have for primary 8.8.8.8 .8 and secondary 8.8.4.4 there's a lot of DNS codes that you can try and it's better to find which one suits you best depending on your region MTU settings will be automatic and proxy servers do not use from here you I'll let you pause the video and choose any DNS code and try it to see if it works better for you once you do so, test internet connection and as you can see, everything says successful, so we most probably fixed our problem with the internet connection or PlayStation Network sign and fade. If this did not solve your problem, there's one last thing I would recommend you to do, is go to settings and then go to initialization on your system. From here, make sure you choose restore default settings and not initialize PS4 because if you initialize PS4, you lose all your data. Default, changing back to default will not make you lose data but only configuration on your system. So once you restore the default settings, what you need to do is to hit restore and then wait for your PlayStation because it will restore automatically by itself. This will not delete your data but it will delete all the configurations you already had on your PS4 and previous settings so we need to change them back and set reset them up when you turn it back on. Also make sure you always have your account info noted in case it asks you to resign in. But once you do reset and change the NS code, as you can see you should be able to connect to your friends which means that the connection is successful and the problem is gone. If you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and see you next time. Peace!